Kava is a project and um, its main objective is to ensure that smallholder farmers are able to make money out of uh, cassava processing. Cassava is one of the crops that is able to withstand changes in climate. And also from cassava, there are a number of products that we can make. Apart from the fact that we can process the actual roots, the stems for the farmers, they can be, uh, they can be sold. And also the leaves are also used. And in terms of nutrition, the leaves of cassava have a very high uh, protein content. <laughs> Oli mwachi nangu wa tine amba 2014. Kwa amba oli mwachi nangu wa so nali kutipi nduri ya gunobuino. Chifu wachi nangu wa chimene timazala, chimachuluka kukwidu wa matenda. Komano ata buwela akapari, ndi pamene ya namba uti gula wachi nangu wa ayu nivesu. Ndi uwele ngira mapindu, wamene tinga wapese mwachi nangu wa chimene jojo. During our discussions, we were able to uh, shortlist or to come up with a number of farmers which were placed in clusters. And within those clusters, we have been having a number of trainings, training the farmers on the varieties that we have and also how they can take care of them. They just choose maybe a small group of people. Maybe you can say 10 or 15 people. They train them. After that, we, we become now the trainee of the trainers and then we teach our friends how to do this one. Ati punzi saa kukusinta kwa kalimidwe kashi nangwa, kuzala, kumaso kutiti zipi ndula. Kumaso anzatu, tia punzi saa kuti kalimidwe kashi nangwa, asinte, kuti naoso azipi ndula. We are taught farming as a business, not just growing it for the sake of growing, but farming as a business, and how we can calculate uh, profit per acre. As of now, we have strategically placed our smallholder farmers in areas where we know that they are cassava processors, so that after they produce their cassava, they should be able to find a processor somewhere and sell their fresh roots. So economically, farmers are given power to sell their products to us because we have led the available market for them. If this project was not initiated where farmers are provided with clean planting materials and also varieties that are able to resist different types of diseases, because by the end of the day, instead of getting 20 tons per hectare, they are getting 5 tons per hectare, 10 tons per hectare, which should affect uh, their food security. With the training of uh, these people from Kava, we expect that we are going to do more. And then I'm expecting that maybe by the end of the year, I'm going to build a, a new house or maybe buy, buying a motorbike. Because this time I'm just walking, you know, I don't have anything. But with this uh, end of season, I know that I'll do a lot. Farming is uh, viable because uh, it has made me to realize a good sum of money, which uh, I have used to pay school fees for my children. So we are asking our farmers, we are encouraging them to say they have to increase their land uh, to ensure that they harvest a lot, but also on top of that, following all the agronomic practices so that the future should be very bright. Mm -hmm.